Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Riti and I am back with another lecture in the TBMS series. So in the last couple of lectures we learned more on the normal forms, how to normalize table and much more things. In this particular video we would be learning on equivalence of functional dependencies. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now consider that if you are given two functional dependency set, set A or you can say relation A is having some functional dependency, relation B is also having some functional dependency and we have to check the functional dependency which is of relation A and relation B are equivalent or not or have a equivalence relationship or not. So for that we use the concept of equivalence of functional dependency. So what is functional dependency? A functional dependency x determines y where x is the determinant and y is the dependent and y is determined by x holds on a relation r if for any two tuples t1 and t2 in r so consider there is a relation r which is having some rows or you can say tuple which is t1 and t2 so consider if there is any attribute x and if t1 of x is equal to t2 of x then for any attribute y t1 of y would be equal to t2 of y. So according to the functional dependency, it basically help us to know the dependencies among different attributes of a table, what is the determinant, what is the dependent, how it is getting determined and much more things. Now coming to the equivalence of functional dependency. So when we can say that two functional dependency set are equivalent. So two set of functional dependency, consider first set is f, second set is g, are equivalent if the following conditions hold. So the first condition is f implies g. Basically it means f covers g. So every functional dependency in g can be derived from f. So consider if there are two functional dependency of f and g and there is a functional dependency in f that can be derived in g then we say that this is equivalent. And same implies with g as well. So g implies f every functional dependency in f can be derived from g. So every functional dependency in f can also be derived by g then we can say that these two relations are equivalent. So if both conditions are true then we say that f and g are equivalent. So consider there are two relation f and g which is having some functional dependency. Consider here it is a determine b and here it is b determine a. So in the equivalence we check that if this particular functional dependency and this particular functional dependency are equivalent among each other. So for that first we will see that if f can cover g then we will see that if g can cover f and if both of them holds true then we can say it equivalent. We will understand more from the example. So these are the steps on how we can find if two functional dependencies are equivalent or not. So the step one is we have to compute the closure of both of the sets. So consider if there are two sets of relation f and g. So we have to find the closure of f and g basically all the attribute closure which is present there. Now the step two is we have to ensure that every functional dependency in set one is in set two closure. So consider if we have two relation f and g and we have functional dependency as a determine b and here we have the dependency as b determine a. So we'll take the closure for them. So for f closure we will have the closure of a and b and for g closure again we will have the closure of a and b. So what is the closure of these two? So now here a closure gives us a and b and here b closure gives us only b. Coming to this functional dependency a closure gives us a only and B closure gives us B and A. So we have found out the closure of both of the sets. Now we have to find that every functional dependency in set 1 present in set 2 closure. So what we will do is we have to see that if this A determine B holds true for this particular equivalence relation. So what we will do is we will go to the G closure and we will see for A. A can only determine A, A can't determine B. So we can say that this particular relation are not equivalent. Consider if this hold it true, then we have to see that every functional dependency in set 2 is having in set 1 closure. So for every functional dependency in set 2 that is A and B, we have to see this particular closure which is present in the last set and then we have to see that if this functional dependency is holding true or not. If you are getting confused, don't get confused, we will see for this from an example. Now the step 4 is if both the subset check pass, then set 1 and set 2 are equivalent. Because the set 1 functional dependency is holding true for set 2 closure and set 2 functional dependency is holding true for set 1 closure. So let's understand from an example. 
consider that there are two functional dependency one is f and one is g and these are the functional dependency a determines b b determines c and in the g it is a determines c and a determines b so we will follow the steps and then we will compute if these are equivalent or not so the step one is we have to compute the closure of both the sides so here we can see that there are three attributes a b and c and here also there are three attributes a b and c so we will find the closure of all the attributes in f so first we will find the a closure so a can determine b so there will be a b and b can determine c so it will be c so a closure will be having a b c now coming to b closure b can determine itself so b b can also determine c so it will be b c now coming to c closure so there is nothing with c is determining so it will only determine itself so it will have these now coming to the closure of g attributes so a closure will have a then a can determine c a can determine b now coming to b closure b closure will be only having b because there is no b as a determinant coming to c closure c can only determine itself because there is no c as a determinant so we have found out the closure for a b c for all these two sets now we have to ensure that every functional dependency in set 1 is in set 2 closure so consider for this functional dependency a determines b we have to come to set 2 and we have to see that if in particular a closure do we get b or not then we can say that this particular one is equivalent so let's see so in a closure we can get b so we can say that this particular dependency holds true for the equivalence relation now coming to b determine c so we have to check for the determinant that is b so we have to check the b closure here so here b closure is only having b b closure is not having c so we can say that this particular functional dependency is not holding true for this case so for now we can say that every functional dependency in set 1 is not present in set 2 closure now let's see the reverse so here the functional dependencies are a determine c and a determine b the determinant here are a so we have to check for a is a determining c yes we can see that a is determining c so this one is holding true is a determining b yes we can say a is determining b so this these both are holding true but this one is not holding true so we can say that f and g are not equivalent because b determine c is not implied or covered by g so what we have to do is first we have to find the closure then we have to do a cross so what we have to do is if we have to check for any functional dependency in g we have to check for the closure of f and if we have to check for any functional dependency in f we have to check the closure for g so that we can conclude that these relations are equivalent So in this way we find the equivalence about functional dependencies I hope you like this video so if you like this video please hit the like button if you are someone who is new to my channel can go ahead and watch out the tech content first and if you find it useful can go ahead and subscribe also if you have not followed me on my social media handles you can go ahead and follow the links are in the description till then take care keep learning keep growing keep smiling bye all